you are wonderful. Wonderful. I say. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You are wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. Ah. Wonderful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. You are faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Lord, you are faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Yeah, by the person. Faithful is the Lord. You are faithful, God. Faithful. I say. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Ah. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful is the Lord. So well let your name Rebo sa chande le bo Yegele bo sa palena Ayo Oh well let your name da de Ayo 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 Oh well let your name Ayo Will let your name I say, my God can do all things. Oh, yeah. Ah, he, he can, can do all things. Oh, yeah. My God can do all things. Oh, yeah. He can do all things. Oh, yeah. God can raise the dead. Oh, yeah. He can do all things. Oh, yeah. Impossible shall be possible. Oh, yeah. Ah, he, he can do all things. Impossible shall be possible. Oh yeah, ah, he can do all things. Oh yeah, my God can heal the sick. Oh yeah, he can, he can, he can, he can. He can. Oh yeah, my God can bless you now. Oh yeah, he can do all things. Oh yeah, can you go ahead and just worship the God that can do all things? The God that can make the impossible possible. The God that can heal the sick. The God that can raise the dead. The blood that can that can that can raise the poor from the dust. The beggar from the dunghill and set them among the princes. The God that answer prayer. Can you appreciate God for what He did all through all last week? Can you appreciate God for another brand new day, for another brand new week, for what God is set to do in our midst? He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy to be adored. He is worthy to be magnified. There is none to be compared to our God. Ah, le bato gashen tali mama. Se le brande gashon tali mama. Gaka ba le ba 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 ba. Ribato gashen tali brande kasan talia. Lift up your voices and just appreciate God. Thank God for His soul. All your domestic servants appreciate God for their life. Appreciate God for all those that surround you. All those God that brought into your life. Give God all the glory. Thank Him, thank Him for His heaven that is open over you. Thank Him for all the good things that God has done for you in the past. All that He's doing presently. All that He's here to do. Thank Him for another brand new day. Another brand new week. Thank Him in advance for the good thing that the Lord has in store for you. Thank you because this month Saturday you will hear good news. Kaleba Sotali Mama Koroboto Gazia Kaleba Shatali. Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, most wonderful name we have worshipped. I thought someone will say a better amen. You want to lift up your voice and say, Father, by the power in the blood, by the cleansing power in the blood. By the washing power in the blood. Cleanse me today. Wash me today. Purge me today. Purify me today. And let me obtain mercy by the blood. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Can you apply the efficacy of the blood upon your life today? Oh, my river to Gashen Tell Mama. Zalika Kakaba Lebaba Kasan Tali Mama. Reboto Gazia Tale Brodo Kasan Taleoma. Daddy, you will have mercy. Almighty God, you will have mercy. King of glory, you will have mercy. Upon us today, you will have mercy. That they purify us, purge us, O God, by the blood, O God. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought somebody would say a better amen. Put your hands together for the Almighty God. For another brand new day, for another wonderful day. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 8. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 8. The Bible says, For it shall come to pass in that day. When is the day, sir? 
I say, when is the day, man? For it shall come to pass in that day. Sear the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke of thy neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. I decree any form of yoke upon your life that will not allow you to fulfill destiny. God will remove it today. He will break his yoke from off thy neck. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. I see the yoke of bondage being destroyed. I see the yoke of poverty and love being destroyed. I see the yoke of affliction being destroyed. I see the yoke of stagnation being destroyed. I see the yoke of backwardness being destroyed. I see the yoke of untimely death being destroyed. Whatever yoke that needs to be destroyed this morning from your life shall be destroyed. And that's why I want you to lift up your two hands and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, fulfill your word in my life and break the yoke of the enemy from off my neck. In the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Ask the Lord to fulfill his word and break the yoke of all your enemy, all thy neck, from all thy neck, from all thy neck. My ye kali pato gazantalia. Le ba 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 ba. Kare mase kata la brande kasanta li mama. Zile gatonda la la. Lo pate gazwanda li poto ye. Gaglando kote gazuta la la la. Brende le bosh kata. Hey Jesus, my chine, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands. I don't know which one is your own, but you are going to. Just pray and say, Father, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, Father every ancestral yoke, every generational yoke over my life that will not allow me to hear good news, that will not allow my level to change. What are you waiting for? Break, 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 break. Command every ancestral yoke, every generational yoke. What are they waiting for? Break in the name of Jesus. Over our life, break. Kaka palala. Hey, Kalima, mama, mama. Come again, every ancestral, every generational yoke uh -huh. over your life, over your home, over your children, over every member of your household. Let them be broken now. Masuka lalo, zauta gailabo shanta, le kasuanta libaba, bragrade kasaka lalala kasuta, broto gazinta libaba. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift up your voice, Lord, and cry. Say, Father. Say, Father. I command every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of bad news, every yoke of causes over my life. Break, 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 break. Be broken now. Go ahead, talk to the mighty God. Every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of lack, yoke of suffering, yoke of poverty, be destroyed. 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 Over our life today. Kayi kelele gaswan chale. Poto baliga gagaga. Bare ke teleboshka. Lo pote gaga bale masan chaliam. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. See, lift up your two hands and say, Father, over my life, every yoke of affliction, yoke of sickness. Yoke of diseases. What are you waiting for? I command. I say break, 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 break. Come again, every form of yoke. Gaga ba 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 ba. Yoke of affliction, yoke of sickness, yoke of diseases, yoke of infirmity. Break over our life. Break masuka la boska. Bregero gazuta le brago da gazanta li mama. Jiba la 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 la. Thank you, my chief father. Hey, Jesus, my name, we have prayed. Brother, my dad is in the house. And I'm believing God, whatever yoke unknown to you, 
that have been upon your life, you will see them no more. See, lift up your two hands and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, every yoke of captivity, every yoke of bondage, and every yoke of untimely death over my life, over any member of my household, what are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, break, 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 break. Command it to be broken. Every yoke of untimely death, yoke of captivity, yoke of bondage over your life, over your spouse, over your children. Break, Pasikalala, Gagalaboskala. The Lord has promised to break the yoke. The Lord has promised to break the yoke, the yoke of the strong man over your life. Can they put it as sandalala? Gabrano baso tololo, zigere boskata. Hey Jesus, my children, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, I hand over my day into your hand. I hand over my week into your hand. Any evil pronouncement. Any evil declaration, any evil projection from whatever quarter into my day, into my week, by the blood of Jesus, I nullify, I cancel, and I decree it shall not stand, it shall not come to power. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Take authority over the day, take authority over the week. Any declaration from covers of witches and wizards, from marine kingdom, from satanic altar, into your day, into your week, we nullify by the blood. For it is written, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Mansuka by Katola, Lebro Oto Gazin Talibama, Kakuka by Legede Makasun Tali, Brogramos Kete. Thank you, my chief Adam. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, unto you I commit my day. I speak peace into my day. I speak goodness into my day. I speak joy into my day. I speak breakthrough into my day. I speak success into my day. I speak favor into my day. I speak progress into my day. I speak progress into my day. Can you go ahead and speak into your day? Speak strength, speak health, speak greatness. Masuka lala. Yakade gazun talibama. That this day and this week will be a wonderful day and a wonderful week for you. Marika pale bakuta gazan dalia. Robrogro gazan talibama. I speak goodness. I speak goodness. I speak joy. I speak laughter. Hey, I speak strength. I speak good health. I speak favor, I speak help into my day. I speak goodness, I speak Loving God, we magnify you. I am that I am, we exalt you. The unchangeable changer, we magnify your holy name. We say there is none like you. There is none beside it. Yesterday you are God. Today you remain God. Forever you shall be God. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking. Thank you for preserving our going and our coming in. Thank you for joining mercy at all times. Thank you for renewing our strength. Thank you for good health. Thank you for ceaseless blessing. Thank you for making your countenance to shine upon us. Thank you for favor on every side. Thank you for helping our helplessness. Lord, I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. For all answer prayers, for all prayer you are yet to answer, for the prayer you will never answer, Lord, we say thank you. For your mercy that endure forever, we say thank you. This morning, precious Father, we plead the blood, and by the efficacy of the power in the blood, cleanse us from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Wash us by the blood in the name of Jesus. Purge and purify us today in the name of Jesus. May we obtain mercy by the blood in the name of Jesus. Lord, it's in your name. I pray for everyone under the influence of my voice, including myself. 
any yoke that you need to break for you have said your word that you are going to break the yoke of our neck therefore I command anyone under the influence of my voice every form of ancestral yoke every form of generational yoke let it be broken in the name of Jesus yoke of affliction be broken in the name of Jesus yoke of sickness and disease be broken in the name of Jesus yoke of causes failure and frustration be broken in the name of Jesus yoke of untimely death be broken in the name of Jesus oh yoke of backwardness and retardation I say be broken in the name of Jesus I decree you will not progress the Lord will set you free to progress. The Lord will set you free to prosper. The Lord will set you free to be great. The Lord will set you free to be fruitful. The Lord will set you free to increase. The Lord will set you free to multiply. The Lord will set you free to do exploit. In the name of Jesus. You shall not be found in bondage. You shall not be found in captivity. I decree anyone that has projected any evil into your day into your week they are hereby nullified by the blood in the name of Jesus for who is it that speaker and he coming to power when the Lord God Almighty commanded it not he shall not stand he shall not come to power over you he shall not stand over your children he shall not stand over your business he shall not stand over your career he shall not stand over your ministry he shall not stand over your academy he shall not stand only the will of God shall be done in your life in the name of Jesus I speak peace into your day I speak joy into your day I speak blessings into your day I speak help into your day I speak success into your day I speak good health into your day. I speak, I speak celebration into your day. I speak progress into your day. I speak fruitfulness into your day. I say this day shall be fruitful for you. I speak increase into your day. I speak multiplication into your day. I speak help into your day. I speak lifting into your day. I speak promotion into your day. I speak breakthroughs into your day. In the name of Jesus. I see prosperity into your day. Monday will bless you. Tuesday will bless you much more. Your blessing on Wednesday shall be more than Tuesday. Your blessing on Thursday shall be more than Wednesday. Your blessing on Friday shall be more than Thursday. Your blessing on Saturday shall be more than Friday. God will load you on a daily basis. Throughout this week, you will rejoice. You will hear good news. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Can you say that? Amen. Three powerful. I want to go. Two. And jam your hands together for the Almighty God. Congratulations. I will hear your news. I say, I will hear your news. I say, I will hear your news. Even your enemy will help to broadcast your news. Lift up your right hand and say with me I worship the Lord of hosts, the mighty man in battle. The whole earth trembled before him. And no man can withstand his indignation. No man can withstand his indignation. Forever he is God. And may his name forever be praised. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that every satanic yoke over our lives shall completely be destroyed and we shall be set at liberty to fulfill divine mandate for our lives I declare and I confess that the yoke of poverty is broken over my life yoke of affliction is broken over my life yoke of wood and iron is broken over my life by the reason of the anointing yoke of ancestral sorry ancestral yoke is broken over my life all throughout my life I will not know any form of yoke I declare and I confess that I am not a candidate of bondage and captivity the Lord has set me free and I am free indeed I am free to prosper I am free to succeed I am free to reign I am free to dominate I am free to be fruitful I am free to progress 
I am free to enjoy divine blessings. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will read eternity. I will love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and bless the Holy Ghost for one minute. Masuka la brande kasontali. Burema mama kasantali. Bale kataga gentele. Burobata gazanta. Mama makato gazanta li mama. Burema te gazunta le braga. Kulama to gazinta le mama. Kureba baka santa li. To balakate gazunta. Brigadebos kate. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Your confession will surely come to pass. Your confession will become a reality in your life. As the Lord have had you spoken to his ears, so shall he do for you. Surely and certainly you will eat the fruit of your lips. And any power that will not allow your confession to come to pass, let God destroy them. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Several of them powerful, amen, like thunder. Two, three, four, five, six, and and you make a joyful noise unto the Lord and jam your hands together for the King of Kings, for the Lord of Lords, for the one who was, for the one who is, for the one who is to come. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Can I prophesy to your life in that name that is above every other name? May the Lord make you stronger than all your enemies on every side. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I thought your enemy will be louder than your neighbor. And let's let be seated in this presence. You are almost welcome. And I know your testimony will be hard. I say your testimony will be hard. Anointing for good news, part one. Anointing for what? Which part? But when will you hear your own? First Samuel chapter 10, verse 1 to 9. Anointing for good news. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance when thou art departed from me today then thou shalt find two men by the richest sepulchre in the border of Benjamin Aziza and they will say unto thee the asses which thou wanted to seek are found and lo, thy father have led the care of the asset and sorrow it for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shall thou go on forward. I thought somebody would say amen from that. From then, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall meet thee three men going up to God to better, one carrying three kids. And another carried three loaves of bread. And another carrying a bottle of wine. And they will salute thee. And give thee two loaves of bread. Which thou shalt receive of their hand. After that. Thou shalt come. To the hill of God. Where is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass. When thou art come either. To the city. That thou shalt meet a company of prophets. Coming down from the high place with a sastry and a tablet and a pipe and a harp before them and they shall prophesy and the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man praise the Lord verse 7 and let it be when these signs are come unto thee that thou do as occasion serve thee for God is with thee and thou shalt go down before me to Giga, and behold, I will come down unto thee to offer burnt offering and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offering. Seven days shall thou tarry till I come to thee, 
and show thee what thou shalt do. And it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel, God gave him another heart. And all those signs come to pass that day. Thank God that somebody said amen. amen. Beloved, we are in the season of good news. God has brought us from the season of a new wave of glory to a season of good news. Why? A new wave of glory we always produce good news. Many desire to hear good news, but they don't know what to do. Can you celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? The one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Who had made provision for you to know what it takes to get good news. Amen and amen. Do you know why I ask you to celebrate? You have come to the Lord's sanctuary this morning. And something is about to happen. That we all shall you to begin to hear good news. Many desire it. And for that purpose, they are running from pillar to post. Some have joined court because they want to hear good news. Some have had to carry sacrifice dead midnight because they want to hear good news. Some have gone to sleep at the graveside because they want to hear good news. Some have gone to Hoviji at Babish with mommy water because they want to hear good news. But for you and I, hello, hello, I say for you and I, just by the anointing, good news shall be high. In whose life, sir? Why? We saw the Lord who is the same yesterday and today and forever. What he has done before, he can replicate. What he has done before, he can repeat again and again. And that is why I decree and I declare as the anointing come upon you today, you will be ushered into good news. Listen, yes, sir. Beloved, when you look at the story in the Bible passage that we read, the story of Saul. Saul was in the euphoria of bad news. He was in where? The euphoria of bad news. What was the bad news? Saul had the news that his father assets had been lost. It was a bad news. And Saul was desperately in need of good news. Is there anybody here today tired of bad news? Desperately in need of good news. I congratulate you because the anointing is coming, sir. I said the anointing is coming. And can also prophesy to somebody very quickly. All the bad news that you have had by the reason of the anointing this morning, those news will be eradicated. So I have had the bad news of the loss of the assets of the father. He went out to revive the bad news to look for the assets, but he could not find. But the Almighty God divinely orchestrated his footsteps to meet with the prophet of God. Listen to me, sir. You are not here this morning by accident. God has orchestrated your footsteps because after today, at the order of Saul, testimony will follow you. And so Saul had an encounter with the servant of God just as you are about to have another encounter and at that encounter things begin to happen in succession hello <laughs> what did I say oh my god underline that adjective 
things begin to happen where in succession repeatedly and all are good news all are good news all are good news can I decree by the reason of the anointing that will come upon you in succession good news will happen in your life I mean you are moving from good news to good news 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 in the name of Jesus but then you better say that amen loud and clear we may not be having time to begin to pray but as the word of God is coming from the altar the one you know that had to do with you you better grab it because it will surely come to pass beloved what kind of good news did Saul receive after that he was anointed because God want to repeat it in whose life just point to me and say in Sunday's life I mean in whose life this is the man in the euphoria of bad news suddenly came in contact with the servant of God and the Bible says the servant of God carried the vial of oil and poured it upon his head and instantly good news begin to flow in the first good news that so hard after he was anointed was he received good news of greatness he received what he received what whose turn is it to receive that kind of news I say whose turn is it listen to me if the anointing make great hear me loud and clear I repeat if the anointing makes great in that name that is above every other name the anointing that is coming upon you today we activate the seed of greatness in you and you shall become great listen to me sir as soon as Samuel poured the oil on Saul look at what he said to him in verse 1 of First Samuel chapter 10 he said then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be what? Captain over his inheritance. Listen to me, sir. You will not appreciate that statement until you know where Saul was coming from. Saul was coming from a background that did not give any room for his greatness that did not do all give any room for greatness I'm telling you the truth and if you don't believe me let's read it together read 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 21 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 21 look at what Saul said about himself and Saul answered and said am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribe of Israel and my family <laughs> the least of all the family of the tribe of Benjamin wherefore they speak thou so to me he was looking at his background and an oil is being poured upon him and the pronouncement was being made that you are now a captain over the inheritance of God. In other words, from today, you are going to be great. That was the good news that Saul had when they poured the oil upon his head. He had the good news and compared the good news he had to the background where he was coming from. He said, wow, how can it be me? Me of all people, my tribe is useless. Even in that tribe again, I, my family in that tribe is also the least. Now I am hearing the news that I am going to be great. Can I prophesy into the life of somebody? It doesn't matter your background. Oh my God. Stretch out your hands to the altar. Hear me as I hear God. I don't care to know where you come from. 
I don't care to know what is happening in your family. In that name that is above every other name. As the anointing come upon you today, you shall be great. I say you shall be great. One more time, you shall be great. I say one more time, you shall be great. I say one more time, you shall be great. Don't sit down yet. Walk to several people and tell them I am great. Ah, you are still standing. Tell them I am great. I am great. I am great. That is the news. 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 I am great. I am great. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is the news. Hello. Now you have declared the news, isn't it? You want to go to the realm of brokers. You want to go to the realm of what? Tell another fellow and say he is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Be seated for a while. Then suddenly, I said that was not enough. Another news came. Immediately after the anointing, it was news of restoration. News of restoration. Look at what the man of God said to him. The man of God said to him, he said the access that was lost has been found and restored. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. And for you to know that it is news. The man of God further now said to him, he said, when thou art departed, First Samuel chapter 10 verse 2. Then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin Azazel, and they will say unto thee, the access which thou wanted to seek are found. Hello? What led to that? The anointing brought the good news. Can I prophesy to your life for somebody? As you are anointed here today, and you step out. The only thing your ears are hear is good news. Whatever you have lost, <laughs> brother, step out your hand to the altar. Malika pole bragas and choli mama. Le kasuta ba yigala le patunda le brada. Whatever you have lost on the account of today's anointing, you will hear the good news. It is restored. You hear the good news is restored. You hear the good news is restored. You hear the good news is restored. That contract is restored. That business is restored. That job is restored. That marriage is restored. In the name of Jesus. Can you imagine? Just an anointed came. He said, You are hearing the news. He said, You are going to meet them on the way. They will broadcast it and say, Oh, what you have been looking for has been found. Have been, have been, have been in that name that's above every other name before 12 noon today. At least 150 people will hear news of restoration. You shall be among them in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Number three. He received the good news of favor and divine provision. He received the good news of prosperity. Of what? Prosperity. prosperity. How do I know? Read verses 3 and 4 of 1 Samuel chapter 10. Then shall thou go on forward. <laughs> you will never go backward again. And thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And, and there shall meet thee three men going up to God to better. One carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. When you combine that together, that is prosperity. 
where you have bread, where you have wine, anywhere you find it in the Bible, is talking about prosperity. And the Bible says, and they will salute thee and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hand. Hello, sir. Hello, ma. I have always wondered anytime I read this Bible passage, how can somebody have three and give out two? After all, the Bible says, Love thy neighbor as thyself. At least they will have share one and they have one and they have. But the anointing is so strong. Hello? The anointing is what? That it will draw blessing. Even from those that are not willing to release it. Mm -mm, you didn't get that one. You didn't get that one. Sir, I decree here today. You know, some people that like this, their hand be. Nothing they come out. Hello. What do you call them? Akago. Hello. You had them around you, isn't it? They'll be looking at you, Ayanya. Instead of blessing you, <laughs> on today's anointing, by fire, by force, blessings will come into your life. You will attract blessing. Men will willingly bless you. I said, people will willingly bless you. If you are devil, say a louder amen. That is good news. Put those hands together for Jesus. Hello. Another news that follows as I begin to close was spiritual upliftment. Can you imagine the servant of God telling him that you will now begin to prophesy? You are going to come into the company of prophets and you begin to prophesy. And they will now say, He is Saul also among the prophets. All around good news. All around good news is going to be your portion. Then, as I close, the news of unprecedented accomplishment unprecedented achievement. Hello? Before that day, that Saul was anointed king, they have never been king in Israel. Hello? Never! He was the first. Unprecedented. In his father's house, nobody have ever reigned as king before. Hello. So you can imagine after Saul had been anointed and they began to broadcast all over, Israel now have king. Who are they referring to? Saul. There is now a king in the tribe of Benjamin. Who are they referring to? Saul. Can I pray for only one person? Ah. <sighs> Brethren, I hope you are not joking with this pronouncement. What has never happened before to any man? We are talking about good news. And we said that news is something that has never happened. Am I correct? That they are just informing you. Am I correct? That's why it is news. If a news has been repeated severally, they will hear the war. It is now a stale news. Meaning it's no longer news. Everybody now know about it. Sir, what makes a news a news is that it is new. I repeat, what makes a news a news is that it is what? New. Brethren, I don't know how many faith, how many people here that your faith will carry it. That one thing God has never done for you before. By the reason of this morning anointing, it will happen in your life. Something great, something awesome, something glorious, something unprecedented, something that never happened to anyone in your father's house, something that never happened to anyone all over the world. Let God do it in your life. It's about Jesus. Lift up your voice and cry to the Lord, Lord, and say, Father, say, Father. Let me hear the news of unprecedented accomplishment after this anointing. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Baliba so kale brande gazanta li mama. Balega da baleba to gazanta li mama. Robote gazwanda le pa papa. Iba lege de gazanta li mama. 
Rabragade Gasunta Limama Kaba Yekete Gasunta Lembo Le Gasunta Balekaka Kaba Le Katuga Santalia Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Hey Jesus my children we are praying lift up your anointing to the heaven Cabrono Casantalia I send myself in agreement with you today that all round good news will happen to you throughout this day, throughout this week. In the name of Jesus, lift it up to heaven and say, Father, that's going to be your prayer. Say, Father, as this anointing touches my head, usher me into all round good news. Nah. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Almighty God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let the hands be lifted up, everybody. The confidence we have in our God is that He's the ancient of days. He's the eternal rock of ages. He is the one who, who is and who is to come. What He has done before, He can do it again. I decree. Every item lifted up. Be saturated with the power. Be saturated with the power. Be saturated with the power. And as the oil touches your head, let there be succession of good news. Good news. Good news. Of greatness. Of restoration. Of healing. Of unprecedented accomplishment. Of divine lifting, of divine help, of favor, all around you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, anoint yourself. And if you are not with oil, you can just file out so that ministers can anoint you quickly. Can we take the oil ministers? Please come over. Kalima to kashen talima ma. Kason talima ma kashen talima ma kason talim. Go rabato kason talim. Those that are outside can come in. You can come with your offering at the same time. Kashen talima ma. Zulema son talim. Kason talima ma ma. Kashen talima ma. Anoint them, anoint them. Don't just pour the oil because we don't have enough. Anoint them, anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Pastors, anoint them because of oil. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint them. Oh, Oh, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Gazalama, Gazantali, Gazantali. Now, can we stand? 
Lift up your two hands to heaven. Everybody lift up your two hands to heaven. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Set forth your hands to the altar. Everybody. But then listen to me, sir. The anointing is anointing because of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, this is the ninth month. And the Holy Spirit have nine gifts. Can I decree over your life? On the account of this anointing, the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit in the ninth month shall begin to manifest in your life in the of Jesus. The Holy Spirit also comes with nine fruit of the Spirit. May the nine fruit of the Spirit begin to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as Saul turned his back, God gave him a new heart. Receive a new heart in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as Saul turned his, his, his back, all the signs followed. I decree, signs for good news will follow you. Signs for wonders will follow you. Signs for miracles will follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus. May your offering be acceptable unto the Lord. May the Almighty God bless you richly. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Put those hands together for Jesus. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. That same anointing, I want to beg of you to use it to pray for our pastor whose birthday is this morning. Lisa. Hallelujah. The Lord has just added another year to our pastor. So I'm not surprised that we are talking about good news. You are going to stretch out your hand towards him and just prophesy into his life. Can you pray with all your heart? Zalima to gajen talima ma. Kambrade basun tale baba gajen talima ma. Zolima kato gazian tale braka san tali. Shinelele gajen tale baka san tali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I set myself in agreement. With all the saints that is praying for you today. As the Lord add another year today, He will add peace. He will add joy. He will add power and honor. He will add riches, wealth, and prosperity. He will add wisdom and understanding. He will add good health and long life. He will add greatness to your greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will increase and enlarge your coast. You will never be smaller than the level you are now. From glory to glory shall the Lord lift you up. Your latter end will be sweeter than your beginning. You will see your children's children. You will not know untimely death. You will fulfill the number of your days. Your head will never carry evil load. Your head will carry glory. Your head will carry honor. In the name of Jesus, all that the Lord has blessed you with, none shall be lost. It shall be addition. It shall be multiplication. In the mighty name of Jesus, the work of your head will continue to prosper. 
you will finish well you will finish strong you will not fall you will not fail you will not falter in the name of Jesus every agenda of the wicked concerning you shall be paralyzed in the name of Jesus shall be frustrated in the name of Jesus you will accomplish all your dream you will accomplish all your vision in the name of Jesus I use you as a point of contact to every other person celebrating their birthday today. Let God do the same for you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In the morning, it is well with you. In the noon, it is well with you. In the evening, it is well with you. As you go out, it is well with you. As you come in, it is well with you. It is well with your children. They will be far greater than you. In the name of Jesus. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus. We just sent together for Jesus. Hallelujah. You people can take over from here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. Bless you, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, now um, our pastor will be cutting the cake. So, um, at the spell of um, Jesus, he will cut the cake. So, give us a wonderful J. Yeah. Give us an E. Yeah. A great S. Yeah. A U. Yeah. And a supersonic S. Yeah. Jesus! Yeah. Praise the Lord. share the grace in fellowship and the birthday can continue the doors are open for your gifts you can send the gifts to the pastor's office the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever. Amen.